In this Go High Level GHL video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your custom domains as a sender in the Go High Level so that it can send out emails just like you're having your custom domain. So we are going to do this by connecting Go High Level GHL with SendGrid. So be sure to check out the whole tutorial. Welcome back to this Go High Level tutorial. So if you're looking for Go High Level at 50% discount only at $47 but enjoy the same features, you can check out my link and I'm able to support you for more tutorial as well. So let's come back to the topic today. So uh, in order to set up your custom domain as a sender in Go High Level GHL, uh, the easiest way that I find is called SendGrid. So um, here, I'm going to walk you through step by step. It's the same interface. As I said, I'm the reseller as well, so you can get it half the price, only as $47 with the Go High Level with me. Okay, so now the first thing that I want you guys to go on is that I want you guys to go over to the site menu bar of Go High Level and click on email services. So when you click on this email services inside the settings, email services. So let me just show you guys uh, by going back to the root. I'm uh, going to scroll down and see that it's a setting menu bar uh, in setting, call setting. And then after that, just scroll over and click the email services. That is where you are going to land on this page right now, asking you to set up the SMTP service and you have a few options. So uh, what you need to do is just go over to click service. Uh, they will ask you for an SMTP provider. Okay, the easiest setup ever for me, I have tried, is actually using SendGrid. So I already have my SendGrid set up, but I'm just going to walk you guys through on the entire process. So not to worry, SendGrid is totally for free. So all you need to do is just to click SendGrid. So when you're over here, SendGrid will actually request few information from you, uh, starting from username, email, as well as password. So now, in order to get this tree field, so user uh, name will be a very standard one. Let me show you guys. So as per the Go High Level documentation, the username should be called API key. So do not key in anything other than just the API key. So we are going back to the GHL, just key in API key. So here's a trick uh, on the username. So here's the trick, what's the email and password? So if you do not already have the SendGrid account, so I want you guys to go over to the SendGrid and set up to, uh, a register a new account. So once you register a new account, account registration is very straightforward, just like requesting your email, inputting your names and um, in, including your password as well. So once you have done that, um, I want you guys to go over to your SendGrid, okay? go over to settings in the SendGrid and click API keys. So over the API keys, I want you guys to click create API keys. So basically API keys is just like the password that you want to enter. So you can input any API key name here. So over here, I'm just going to show you guys the GHL uh, testing demo with Amazing June. Uh, that's my domain, amazingjune.com. If let's say you guys want to check it out. Okay, and click on create. So right now, uh, here is just a testing. Um, so you will be given a string of the string of the number, and I want you guys to actually copy that. Okay, after you copy that, uh, just to input it into the password section. Okay, that API keys that you created in the SendGrid is just like a password. Okay, the email will be the email that you registered with SendGrid when you open up account. So in my case, this is my email that I registered with the SendGrid. Okay. So I uh, remember to create a SendGrid pass, uh, SendGrid account. It is absolutely for free, and this is the email registered. And the username just use API key. Do not key in any other things because if you key in any other things other than the API key, the GHL Go High Level will actually reject your request. So the password it's actually created in the SendGrid portal. Head over to settings, API key, create a new one, and right now we are going to hit save. So once you have done that, voila, this is ready and your SMTP for SendGrid is ready for you to send um, to send emails in GHL Go High Level from your own uh, domain. So this is as simple as it is and remember SendGrid is totally free and I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you guys to solve your problem and if you do enjoy this tutorial, please give me some comments, uh, like um, and share this video so that you will motivate me to create even more Go High Level tutorial for you. And as I said, if you have been using Go High Level and you want to enjoy the same features at half of the price, 
and we have i'm one of the reseller of go high level and you can check it out my page over here or send me a dm at facebook.com slash juno story and also if you have been always wanting to create videos uh reels uh shorts uh but then you don't have the courage to do it and you just don't know what to say in front of camera we have something for you okay i'm hosting this seven day amazing video challenge where i'm going to guide you daily uh for seven days daily coaching and i'm even going to give you the video topics for the day all you to do is just to follow my guide answer three questions per day and we are going to create a videos in a very very private small facebook group when i'm able to guide you if you're interested interested to check it out at our website www.amazingchallenge.us and i look forward to see you guys in the next video then take care bye